Sisters, you have been washed and anointed to become queens and priestesses to your husbands. What was expected of young women at the time was sort of straight away start a family. In particular, the idea of sort of multiple wives and of women being subservient to men. Rules that were made mostly by men 2,000 or more years ago. Our duty is to help our husbands stay in that towel without them knowing we're holding them up. What this show does show is the extent to which the female characters within this structure are satellites of their patriarchs. They're not given independence. They're not really encouraged to make a living. It becomes really um, obvious that what's expected of a woman in that particular type of system would mean that she would have to give up who she is. And um, Brenda's a great uh, sort of lens to see that through because she is from a more liberal family who always encouraged her to be her full self and not just make babies and have a family straight away. It's the 80s now. I want you to use your education. There is no reason you shouldn't have a life too. I'm Diana, Ron's wife. We've saved two seats for you over here. You don't mind, do you, Diana? Oh, of course not. Brenda had a great relationship with the other women in the, the Lafferty family who were married to the other Lafferty sons. I think the Holy Spirit is so close to you. And they were challenged by her. I think God sent you to me. They were more resigned to their role. So she was this questioning mind. Brenda. It's just from what I can see, Dan and Matilda could use all the help they can get. Brenda saw through it to ask questions to look into history. And that was incredibly brave at the time for a woman to do it. Imagine how helpful it will be when I have become the courts. This is a profile in courage. So you just get rid of the 16th Amendment? Yeah. No more federal taxes? No. Dan's not gonna like her stepping on his toes. And he's the man of the house now, so mind your property. There was many ways that Brenda pushed back to the role expected of her, and in particular, deciding to pursue being on TV. And in fact, she was one of the first female broadcasters in Utah. As far away as Washington, D.C. may seem to some. Um, so she's able to expose that more uh, archaic way of thinking by trying to open up the other women's eyes. The gravest sin that she committed in the eyes of these men was having her own mind. Fire! And it's horrifying to witness. My character has two daughters of his own and a wife that he loves dearly and a mother that he takes care of. But he sees that this violence against women is baked in, has been since the beginning. It all sounds pretty crazy if you ask me. But he didn't ask you, and he wouldn't. So if I was you, I would keep my mouth shut till I'd done my research. I think what the series does incredibly powerfully and potently is it shines a light on this misogyny. What any patriarchal fundamentalist system expects of women is to sacrifice their freedoms. Brenda had the courage to ask tough questions. Stop. I dare you! Stop. The Lafferty brothers taught to honor the priesthood, which means just men. She questioned that. Brenda saw the Lafferty brothers' steps into fundamentalism as dangerous. You know, Brenda was trying to protect me from going astray. She risked her life in order to save her family from losing itself in that <laughs> death spiral of fundamentalism. We must do whatever it takes to get them off this wicked path. <laughs>